this video lesson is about rounding decimals numbers. In this topic, we're just going to focus on the rounding decimal to the nearest tenths. So here are the steps in rounding decimal numbers. First, find the place where rounding is to be done. And our place value we're just going to focus is just only the tens place. Second, look at the digit to the right of rounding place. The rest of the numbers will be zero. Take note, if that digit is less than 5, we're just going to round down. Round downs means we're just going to remain the number as is. And if that digit is equal to or greater than 5, we're just going to round up. Round up means we're just going to add 1. Let's try. So I have here 2.83 or 2 and 83 hundreds. So first step is to find the place where rounding is to be done. A while ago I said we're just going to focus on the tens place. And number 8 is our tens place digit. Step 2. Look at the digit to the right of the rounding place. So again, the eight is on the a uh, is on the tens place, and the the number to the right is number three. And three is less than five, and if that digit is less than five, we're just going to round down. It means it we're just going to stay the number eight so that the rounding of 2.83 is 2.80 and the rest of the numbers will be zero three becomes zero take a look at my example number two i am here 8.15 or 8 and 15 hundreds. So again, we're just going to look at the tens place value digits, which is 1. Step 2, look at the right to the look at the digit to the right of rounding place. So the number to the right of the rounding place is number 5. And number 5 is equal to 5 so that we're just going to round up round up it means that we're just going to add 1 to the rounding number which is 1 so 1 plus 1 it will give you a 2 so our new number is our new decimal is 8.20 it become number 2 because uh, it equal to number 5 and if it is equal to number 5 we're just going to round up or just add 1 again another example 4 and 56 hundreds so again find the place where rounding is to be done and we're just going to focus on the tens place which is 5 And again, we're just going to look at the right of the rounding place. And the number to the right of the rounding place is 6. And 6 is greater than 5. And if that digit is greater than 5, round up. Again, round up, it means that we're just going to add 1 to the rounding number. So, 4, point, 4 and 56 hundreds, it become 4 and 60 hundreds. We just add plus, plus 1, it will give you a 6. And the rest will be 0. Another example. 
9.69 or 9 and 69 hundreds. So again, we're just going to focus on the tens place value. And our number to the tens place value is number 6. In step 2, look at the digit to the right of the rounding place. And the number to the right is number 9. And number 9 is less than or greater than 5. Okay, it's greater than 5. So that we're just going to round up. Or we're just going to add 1 to the number 6. So 6 plus 1, it will give you a 7. So our new decimal is 9 and 70 hundreds. Another 7 and 22 hundreds. So the number to the of the and the number which is located of the tens place value is 2. And second, or step 2 is to look at the digit to the right. So the number to the right is 2. And 2 is less than 5. So we're just going to round down. Just remain the number, which is 2. And our new number is 7.20 or 7 and 20 hundreds. And the rest will be 0. Okay, let's try. So I have here 1 and 51 hundreds, 2 and 65 hundreds, 3 and 45 hundreds, 4 and 82 hundreds, and 5, point, 5 and 86 hundreds. Can you round the decimals in tens? Just like we did a while ago. I'll give you 20 seconds to answer for this activity. Just round decimal to the nearest tens. Reminder, uh, the tens is located after the decimal point. Okay, your 20 seconds starts now. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Time is up. Again, I will show you my answer and compare with your answer. So number one, one and fifty-one tens it become 1 and 50 cents because the digits on the right of the 5 is 1 and 1 is less than 5 so we're just going to round down number 2 2 and 70 because 5 uh, the, 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 the number on the right of the our tens place is 5 and 5 is equal to 5 so we just go sum up to add 1 or round up so 6 plus 1 it becomes 7 next okay number 4 so in this uh, sample 2 is less than 5, so that round up, or we're just going to remain the number. And next and last is 5 point, or 5 and 90, 10, 90 hundreds. So we just add to the 8, so that it become 9, because the numbers beside, or to the right of the tens place is 
greater than 5. So, we're just going to round up. Okay, you complete the lesson. Congrats!